Thanks. New tonight, the Bentonville School Board voting to continue its district-wide face mask mandate. It applies to staff, visitors, and students ages 3 and older. Uh, the mandate has for, uh, for, faced hard opposition from some parents who showed up to contest that policy. 5 News reporter Bailey Devane has more. The Bentonville School Board is meeting monthly to review its face mask policy. After tonight, students and staff will still need to wear face masks, but if numbers decline, that could change in the future. With a vote of five to two, the school board approved the resolution, deciding that if results from a two week rolling average show 30 or less COVID cases per 10,000 people in the geographical location of the district, face masks will only be recommended. If numbers go over that mark, the district will reinstate the face mask requirement. Uh, Bentonville Schools is committed to taking care of our kids and doing that in a way that makes sense. Back in August, three parents sued the district for requiring face masks, saying the district does not have the authority to do so, but since that suit has been dismissed. However, some parents who strongly oppose the mandate attended the meeting tonight to voice their concerns. We're losing a lot of our freedoms and we have to have the right to choose as parents. Bentonville currently has 51 active COVID cases in the district, well above the threshold of 30 set tonight. Defining a path out of the masking requirement, and although it won't be as fast as some people want it to be, it is a path forward and it does give us a data driven point in which we can use to go and make the decision on what day masks will still be strongly recommended but not required. Seven people spoke out for and against the face mask requirement tonight. One of those was a high school student. The rest were parents. In Bentonville, covering news where you live, Bailey Devane, 5 News.